Welcome to Ram Live. Join our product marketing manager, Rick Phillips, as he showcases the latest and greatest that Ram Mounts and GDS Tech have to offer. Now let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ram Live. Today we're going to be talking about the Ram Handy Case. This is a much underrated Ram product that's been around for many years, but it's packed with a lot of hidden features and functions that we're going to be talking about in today's episode. We will be answering your questions and comments in the live stream chat on YouTube. So if you do have any questions or comments, be sure to post those on there. We will be responding to those later in this video. Or if you're joining us in the replay, we ask that you uh, also, also leave your comments and questions. We'll be responding to those as well. If you do like this video, we ask that you hit like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you're signed up for notifications so you see all the other videos that we'll be posting. We'll be posting videos talking about various RAM mount products, some hidden features and benefits, different types of categories, where you can see RAM and GDS products, but most importantly, answering all of your questions and getting you the information that you need to know. So with that aside, we'll get right into it with the RAM Handy Case. As I mentioned, this has been around for many years, but many people are not aware of it because we're typically known for mounting uh, components for electronics, whether it be a laptop, a tablet, a phone. So electronic mounting is usually what we're mo more known for, but really what we're known for or what we specialize in is rugged mounting components for pretty much anything in any kind of a rugged environment. And in this example today, this includes notepads, writing documents, or any other kind of documents and small accessories. And the RAM Handy Case is a perfect accessory for holding this kind of stuff. So the overall dimensions of this case are about 10 inches wide by 16 inches tall. And if you look closely, I'll hold this up here, you can see there are a whole bunch of different mounting hole patterns on both the front and on the back. You'll see more on the back here. And if I open this up, there's a latch in the bottom. If you open it up, you can see uh, you have the space inside for storing your documents, and also you can see where these uh, hole patterns can route through here. Now, these are considered knockout holes where it's nice and solid um, and you only utilize the holes that you end up using. So really, this is a very simplistic case as far as it just being a nice, heavy-duty, rugged case that has a nice, simplistic design to it. But with all these different knockout hole options, it has it gives you the ability to customize this for your specific needs. So mainly on the back, you have the industry standard four hole amps hole pattern that's in a few different positions here and offset in a few different uh, few other areas. You also have visa mounting hole patterns, different types of hole patterns. So really just like any of our RAM holders, this is compatible with any RAM ball and socket mounting components. And so you can truly mount your case anywhere or mount your documents and small accessories anywhere you need them to be. And we have a couple use case examples that we'll be showing in today's episode. Um, so as you can see, the hole patterns are both on the back and on the front. So not just for mounting it anywhere, but you can also mount devices or other accessories to the outside of the case. So you have a lot of flexibility there. Now, if I open this up again, you'll see all the holes for routing uh, your mounting hardware, but you also have round cutouts for inserting magnets. Now this comes with a couple of magnets, uh, mainly for clipping a pen, which I'll be showing uh, that can go right up here. And so you have both the options for drilling down or using a magnetic connection to a steel surface or any ferromagnetic surface. Now the case itself comes with this hardware pack that I'm gonna open up right here. So you can kind of see what all comes with the case. In addition to the mounting hardware, you get hardware for securing this clip accessory to the case. So one set of holes that are in a few different places on the case, you have it up top here if this is in landscape mode or if it's in portrait mode, you can see the holes up here or at the bottom. So depending on the orientation or how you would have this positioned, you can clip, you can attach the clip on any of those hole patterns depending on what would be most convenient for you. And that simply allows you to clip single documents or a stack of documents up against the sheet, or you can even uh, clip a legal pad up against it as well. And let's see, so it comes with the clip with the proper screws and nuts for connecting that with this hardware pack here. It also comes with a RAM pen with a steel casing. And so the way this pen, I mean, it's really just a typical pen with the RAM logo on it, but it has a steel casing on it. And the reason for that is to be used with these magnet inserts that we include. So if I open this up here, these are very strong rare earth magnets. In fact, I have to kind of put some pressure to slide these apart. There we go. So it comes with two rare earth magnets. Now I'll show you how these can be used. 
if I open up the case again, so if I open up right here, I'm going to insert these on the top portion in these two little cavities that will accept the magnets. And so with the flat side facing towards the case, you could just press and they'll snap right in place there. Sometimes they'll take a little extra pressure and you might need to hit it in with a hammer or screwdriver, but these ones snapped right in place for me easily. Now I have the two magnets inserted in the top here and now with the pen, you can clip it right up to the top. And this is a great way to use the case if you have it mounted in, let's say you have it mounted to a forklift or at a workstation, or maybe you just have it hanging on the wall and you need quick access to a pen and you don't necessarily want to have to grab, you don't want to pull the case out, open it and take the pen out. You can just have it clipped right on the outside of the case for convenient access. Um, and so you can integrate that in various spots on the case, but that's really the most popular location is just right there where you can insert those magnets. And I forgot to mention with the cavity on the inside, so you can insert your legal pads and then you have an extra pocket at the bottom that allows you to secure the pen. It can be paper clips, thumbtacks, SD cards, any small little accessories that you want to keep safe and handy, things that can get lost easily. You can prevent those from being lost, especially some small things that you want to keep stored can be very expensive too. and You don't want to lose them. And so the handy case is a great way of keeping everything safe and secured in place. And this uh, bottom cavity is set up in a way where when the case is closed, it's not going to fall loose. Those parts will stay inside of there. So let's see, we've covered the clip, we've covered the magnets. Um, now if you look up top here, set the bag to the side there. Um, if you look up top, you'll see on each of these corners, we have what's called a RAM pin lock pattern. Now these patterns will let you connect a ball component. And so you can actually have a double ball mount coming off, coming off of these plates. And really you can say the same about the hole patterns. You can have mounts coming off of the case to hold other items. But the pin lock pa uh, pattern is a nice small footprint to achieve the same type of double ball mount. And I'll show you the example I have right here how I personally like to use the case for this use. Um, and then next to these hole patterns, you have these little slots on the sides for cable management. So for all RAM mount components, that's one thing that we take very seriously is cable management because we're uh, mounting your electronics in a safe position. And when you have cables going to your devices, it's important that the cables are managed properly so that you have a reliable connection to your devices while they're mounted. And so because this case can be used in so many different ways, um, in fact, we, it says on their mouse cable, but it can really be anything. You can integrate a power supply or a battery to the inside of the case, and then you can have cables routed out. You probably can't see on here, but next to these slotted holes, there are a couple other knockouts for you to route a zip tie. So you, you can actually create cable retention if you're routing any electronics on the plate or on the case. And then on the side here, you have optional knockout holes on both sides where you can, if you do have any kind of a power supply or electronics routed through the case, you can have cables coming out and connected to your device without having to, while being able to keep the case closed, uh, which is very important. Other than that, I mean, this is designed in a way where it stacks nice and easily. You can stack it on the side conveniently or it lays nice and flat. Now I'd like to show you a couple examples, just a couple use cases to get an idea of how versatile this product really is. The first one I'm going to show you here is what we use for our film equipment that we have in house here. Um, in fact, I'm going to first take the handy case off of the mount so you can see this clearly. So what we're using is, there we go. What we're using is the RAM tripod. So this is a tripod that you can find on RAMMount.com right now. Um, and then we have a C size double ball adapter that's been modified to fit on top of this. And then coming off of the C size mount has two different devices coming up and mounted. You have a laptop tray. So this is the RAM vehicle laptop tray, but I'm not using the side keepers on here because it's not in a vehicle. It's just in a, in a studio here. And so it really just makes for a nice flat surface for laying a laptop on top. Now this entire setup is great for anyone that's on the go or is shooting something on site. And it's really convenient having your laptop connected to the camera that's being filmed. So the best way I've found to use these is to have two tripods, one supporting the camera that's filming today's live stream, and then a second tripod set up with essentially your mobile office that's connected to the camera. And so everything is uh, together and connected to the laptop. And for me personally, I use laptops all the time and I'm never a fan of the trackpad. So the trackpad up here 
it's just I'm not able to operate it as quickly, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. So I'm all about using a nice high quality mouse. And so that's essentially what I'm using the handy case for is for note taking, a nice writing surface. If you need to jot down quick notes, uh, that's very important. If you're filming something on site, you have to keep track of a lot of different things. Um, but it's also just great having a nice flat surface to use as a pad for your mouse uh, or your Bluetooth wireless mouse. Now, what I have up here also is I'm using the uh, B-size ball adapter that's on the corner of the case. Hopefully, you can see it clearly on the screen. But I have that connected to a RAM X grip holder. So a lot of times, it's very important to have my phone in a convenient position where I can view uh, maybe an incoming text message that I'm expecting or some notes. Maybe I'll, I'll even use my phone as a stopwatch if I'm timing something out while filming. And so having the phone at a convenient location is very important. I, it's better just not to not have it in your pocket. But at the same time, I don't want it laying on the handy case either because that's taking up valuable real estate on the surface of the case. I want to be able to have my notepad and my mouse on here. And so I have my notepad and mouse here for note taking and then my phone mounted to the case on the side in a very convenient position. So all of this, this entire setup, laptop, case, notepads, mouse, phone is all coming off of one tripod system. It makes for a great, I would call it an ecosystem for any on-site shooting. Um, whether it be video or photo of any kind. So this is a great accessory for any kind of studio equipment. So I'm going to set this one to the side, get my phone back. So I will set the tripod to the side here. And then one other use case I want to show is the fact that uh, we make mounts for various industries, including for material handling. And now us as a manufacturer, we find ourselves often using our own products in our facilities. And that uh, applies to the handy case as well. We use the handy case in our own facilities, whether it be in our die cast or our plastic injection uh, facilities. And so I took a quick video with my phone just the other day uh, showing one of these handy cases being used. So you can get an idea of how we use them in our own facilities. So I'm gonna cut to the video here. So as you can see, we simply have the handy case that's conveniently just mounted up on the wall. So one can grab it quickly and be on the go with it. We're using the clip with some documents on there. I believe we're using it for monitoring our weight scales that are being used. But as you can see there, um, on the inside, we have extra magnets that are inserted inside of the case. And with that, you can lock those right up against any steel flat surface. So we have those on our injection mold machines. So it's very convenient for being, someone being able to have quick access or to view notes that are on the case and being able to transfer from one place to another. Um, it's incredibly convenient um, and a very clean, sophisticated way of doing it with that magnet option. Now the part number for the case is in the description of this video, so make sure that you click into it and view that. And there are also part numbers and links for the ball accessory that you can connect onto the corner of the case. And there's also the part number for uh, two additional magnets. So the case does come with the two magnets. I'll open this up here again. The case does come with the two magnets needed for uh, securing the pen to the outside of the case. But if you are looking to achieve the magnetic mounting option, you can buy packs of two of those magnets. Uh, you can get as ma however many that you need. Uh, depending on how much weight is inside of the case, you might need to take up extra cavities and get extra magnets. But those magnets are available to be purchased separately if you are looking to integrate that kind of option. Those are incredibly strong uh, rare earth magnets though. As you can see in the example in that video, um, it locks up really securely up against uh, the side of the um, injection mold machine. So I believe that pretty much covers all of it. Um, really just the big takeaway here is that this is a nice simplistic design, but it just really gives you the ability to customize this essentially however you want, and it makes it feature rich for a wide range of different industries and verticals out there. Um, it's, it, I mean, it's mainly for industrial use, but I found a lot of personal use for it myself. And so it's a highly underrated product with a lot of hidden features people typically don't know about. It's really limited to your imagination as far as how you would want to customize the case. And just like all other mounting components, the handy case is backed by a lifetime warranty. Another great feature that many people don't know about and is good to know about is our lifetime warranty, where it's, it's an immediate automatic lifetime warranty on all of our mounting components. 
So I believe that pretty much covers it. Um, I don't see any comments in the chat, but I do want to thank Sarah for being our moderator for today. Um, and so just to wrap up here, um, if you are joining us in the replay of this video, we also ask that you do leave your comments and questions and we'll be, we will be responding to those. And also if you did like this video or have learned something from this, we ask that you hit like, share and subscribe. And again, make sure you're signing for those notifications because we'll be talking about many other uh, lesser known products and unique types of RAM mount products and GDS products. But again, most importantly, just getting you the information that you need to know and answering all of your questions. And so that's going to wrap it up for today, but I do want to thank you guys for joining us for today's episode of Ram Live. We've been making many more videos like these, so please stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you next time.